Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get Shiny Paldei and Wooper to easily spawn in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So, if you're going to enjoy this video, be sure to give a like, subscribe if brand new, and let's just jump right on into it. So we did the Paldei and Tauros a couple of weeks back, and now it's time for the other Paldei in form of Wooper. So to do that, you need to go to South Province Area 5, or the secluded beach. It's just this little marshland area. You should have unlocked the... Um, area for playing for the game but if you haven't then obviously uh, this is it on the map it's literally just really close to the first house so make your way there because that is your best chance of getting them to spawn but unfortunately you can literally only um fly to here we need to run up this hill but you know it's not that bad the party and weaver has actually has a decent spawn rate um regardless uh, down here, but obviously we're going to increase that spawn rate to get the shiny one to appear. So, obviously if you are using Herb Mystica, you can to get level 3 uh, sparkling power to make it easier. So make sure you save beforehand to not waste your ingredients. But if you don't have Herb Mystica, you need to have a level 2 ground type sandwich because there's loads of poison types that spawn in this area. So level two, level 2 ground type sandwich works better for this. Just use the great herbed sausage sandwich. It's just uh, sausage, mustard and ketchup. It's a really easy recipe. And it's literally like quite a very light sandwich as well. As you can see, all you need to grab is the free herbed sausages. It's basically impossible to fail. And it's literally a level 2 um for ground type Pokemon, which is obviously Paddy and Wooper is poison ground. Don't make that mistake thinking it's water ground, water poison. They are two different types of poison and ground. And um, this also boosts the spawn of uh, Clodzire as well, which is obviously the evolution of Paddy and Wooper. But as you can see, the great uh, sandwich has been made. If you've done it right, you can see you've got Ray Power Fighting level 1, XP Point level 2, level 1. And what we're looking for is the Encounter Ground at that level 2. So once you've done that, it is literally very, very easy. All you need to do now is just get into this area. Obviously, you do got other, other Pokemon spawning in because it's not um, level 3. But as you saw straight away, we found a group of... Um, Pile Day, a Wooper, and a Clodzire. And literally, all you need to do is just run around this area. There's a Whoop there. There's a whole group there. Um, as you can see, though, loads of Pile Day and Whoopers and Clodzire spawning, whether the Whoopers on their own or in a group. It doesn't matter. It's all 1 in 1, 3, 6, 5. So it took me, I think, half an hour, 40 minutes to get my shiny. I got both of them within two sandwiches. Um, I got two Whoopers to evolve into Clodzire. And as you can see, sometimes they don't spawn in that much. But if you literally just run around the area, as you can see, you do get loads in. And obviously, you can go into your picnic again to reset. But to me, it's really not worth doing that. Because, as you can see, you just run around and you do find the whoopers. And then eventually, you will find your shiny one. If you just keep running around, it's very simple. As mentioned, it took about an hour to get my shiny power and weeper but that is how we're going to wrap up this video and that's a bit of a shorter one because and uh, no, i just forgot i guess we just got through it all very quickly um hope you guys did enjoy it nonetheless if you did be sure to give a like subscribe if brand new we've got a toad school guide coming next and uh yeah let me know what other pokemon you want to see me cover and i'll be getting around to it uh very very soon but as i said that's me for me Thanks so much for watching, I really hope you did enjoy and I shall see you all.